I'm Verko, and this is part 19 of Call of Cthulhu. Uh, we have the amulet, and we're about to... Or did we give it to Algernon? Gave it to Algernon, and are now telling... Sarah that this is so. I don't know why she's waiting near the exit to the house. I don't think this is good. And it's probably going to end, uh, end with our death. One second... I used the cost of truth to talk when I was talking to Algernon, so... Oh, that's a hefty toll. Oh. Okay, I've got to be very careful using that. But we are now 100% spot hidden. Excellent. Hello, Sarah. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You must understand, I already went too far. What have you seen that's so terrible you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much? I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes, Chief West is here with Sullivan. Who? Bradley, you take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. Well, I don't think this is going to end well. Is there going to be a shootout? Oh boy! Bradley was the good one, wasn't he? I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. Witnesses have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. Wait, Riverside was on fire? That's not the whole story, is it? I don't care about your stories. Save them for the judge. You know, us cops. Oh, yeah. No we mind. base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. So testimony is ordered by ordered by a I will. higher power, hey? I realized, well, I, I did remember some remember suddenly that we did set fire to Riverside. At uh, I was like, oh no, we didn't. I didn't do that. I didn't set fire. I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, yes. With the help of Algernon Drake, Pierce has obtained an amulet that is supposed to protect Sarah Hawkins against the evil powers that, co powers that covered her. The painter told him of her desire to track and kill the Dimensional Shambler in order to atone for her sins. Before Pierce could stop her, he was arrested by the police. So not going to, the ri to Riverside means that you wouldn't find Sarah Hawkins unless a different path took you there. And if you could convince Charles, the fire wouldn't go up and Riverside wouldn't burn down and you wouldn't be captured by the police, question mark? Nice police station. Very nice. Well appointed. No one's there. You know, I've heard a lot about you, Mr. Pierce. Hmm. All good, I hope. It appears that you've been involved in a variety of misdemeanors since your arrival on Dark Water. Entering private property, twice. Aggression, insulting behavior, and to top it all, arson. Well, I was going to say aggressive behavior. I haven't done anything like that, but Pierce did hold uh, Fuller at gunpoint. Um... Uh... I'm ready to cooperate with him. Truth comes at a cost. He's in no p position to lecture me. That's antagonistic, but it probably is talking about Kate's syndicate and the cult. Truth comes at a cost. I'm ready to cooperate with him. Will he believe me? We'll find out. Listen, Chief West, I realize that I'm in your jurisdiction and that you don't like guys like me. However, I think that these accusations are exaggerated and that we would benefit from working together. If that means a confession from you and therefore less paperwork for me, then we've got a deal. I'm serious. 
Can't you see what's going on right under your nose? Yeah? So what's going on that I don't know about? Okay. The Hawkins case is far from closed. Fuller isn't as innocent as he looks. I have investigation mastery. Ha ha. No point in wasting my time. That's not going to work. A dangerous cult is at work. Fuller isn't as innocent as he looks. You'd be better off taking an interest in Dr. Fuller. The experiments he carries out on his patients are as inhuman as they are illegal. And when Dr. Colden wanted to put a stop to it, she too went under the knife. What are you talking about? Nobody's reported any wrongdoings. Dr. Fuller is a man who is as much respected and admired on the island as he is in his profession. It seems like you've got a grievance against him. Is that why you set fire to his institute? I'm admitting nothing at all. Come on, I'll show you to your new residence. I'll be back later to ask you some questions. I hope that you'll make the right choice and confess to everything. It would be as unpleasant for you as it would be for me if I had to adopt more advanced questioning. I have no doubt about that. Mm. Good night, Mr. Pierce. So he's open to torturing people to get the information he wants. Mr. Pierce, the truth seeker. We meet at last. Meet? Who's there? Oh. How are we meeting, Leviathan? Um, oh, oh, this is great. Hold your breath, Pierce. I am the one men named Leviathan. Oh boy. Not because of the scale of my terrestrial form, but as a reminder of the immensity of my knowledge, which I came to share with you, human. Uh. <laughs> Fair response. Do not struggle. Oh, you, oh, joy. You will not be able to speak or escape my influence. Oh, boy. Are we a host now? Struggle, try to speak, submit. Valid sanity requirement because my sanity is so low. Is this going to be the, the last trauma that just, like, ends my game here? Because, you know, my sanity is so low now. So he says, you will not be able to speak or escape my influence. I assume the vision was of Algernon Drake driving the Leviathan's curse or presence from Pierce's body. I don't know if disobeying this entity is a good idea or if submitting to him is a worse idea. I'll, I've been going the crazy route. I've been doing all of the, the hardcore book reading for, of tomes. I've pursued the Necronomicon. I've done the Cost of Truth a lot. We're already nearly broken. So let's just go with the submission and see what happens. If it, if it turns out to be the wrong choice, I'll know for next time. Excellent. Your mind has begun to expand. Your dreams have been gently shepherded by the being they call the Oracle. Sarah Hawkins? But it is your curiosity and your fate that have led you up to this moment. You are here to accept the knowledge and follow the path that leads to your freedom. This is an offer that the likes of you particularly those with such rare characteristics, cannot refuse. The more you bend your human spirit to make it able to receive the truth, the closer you will come to embrace his power. Um... Where is the Oracle, Truth Seeker? Would you like to see her? No. Don't tell him. He wants to know where Sarah Hawkins is. He can't see her at the moment. Probably she might have the amulet now. 
But if I tell him where she is, she'll go off the rails because she mentioned she still hears the voice and the cult and uh, Fuller, the high priest or whatever his function is, uh, mentioned that she will fall eventually. Ooh. Do I accept the knowledge? I already said yes, so why not? Let's do that. Let's cast the world into oblivion because I'm obviously well on the way to calling Cthulhu from his watery grave. Why not? Let's see what happens. Where is the Oracle? Is she not the very object of your quest? I'll let you see for yourself. But do not forget, your fate has already been written. Hmm. Our paths shall cross again, truth seeker. Oh boy, here we go. Sucked into someone's head. Oh, this is great. You know the risk, Sarah. If you happen to use your powers again, you... You may lose more than your life. It is not about me, but innocent lives. I hope that your source is reliable. The bootleggers have the painting. If the dimensional shambler is to appear, he will do it here. <gasps> the shambler! I knew it! No! Not again! Now I'm looking through Sarah Hawkins' eyes. Will this get her killed? Algernon, come back! So the vision that, w that showed Pierce wasn't Pierce. It was because Pierce was looking through Sarah Hawkins' eyes, but he didn't know at the time that he would be looking through her eyes, so to speak. Okay. Ruined mechanisms. Is this the coastline, or...? Yeah, it is. I thought it might be some massive underground cavern, as usual, for this game. Okay. We're at 12 minutes. We've got plenty of time. Oh, this looks familiar. Where is Algernon? And the Shambler. Well, there's Cat. The... Rather angry... Oh, boy. That is... Shambler did that, right? Is there no staircase? Do I just drop? How do I... How doth one... Ah! Ladder. Should've known. Shouldn't have... Oh! Your way back. Shouldn't have expected Sarah Hawkins to be some sort of hyper-athletic individual. So... Is the Shambler just cruising about down here somewhere? Because these... All these people were killed by it, weren't they? It's here somewhere. And I don't think it's the... I don't think it's the smugglers that I'm avoid, trying to avoid in this rather large place. I'm gonna, there's the painting of the Shambler. Over there. Is that Algernon? Is he... Doesn't look too good. There's a switch something under the water and a lot of dead smugglers if cat didn't believe Pierce before he probably she probably does now oh boy that one's a bit all right so what happened last time the shambler entered the oh, escaped the painting where Pierce was involved, and then the world went very dark. Hello, cat. Are you going to kill me? Hello, Algernon. Are you dead? Are you going to die? Hey. Well. Hey! You can't leave us! Sorry, old friend, but it's either you or me. No! What are you... No! Wow, it's... Old pen! Open! Open up! Open this door! It's here. Ah! 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 
Great. Are you sure you want to do it? Let's go. Quickly, come with me. All right, I gotta follow him because he's he's protected by it from it, right? How do we kill it? Yes. The Shambler can open breaches between dimensions. Yes. He uses glyphs as anchors to stay in our world. Oh yay! Then I must destroy these glyphs. Exactly. The glyphs, like in How Riverside. Can I, find them? I will make the glyphs visible so you can revoke them. By doing so, this zone will be protected by a barrier. Perfect. Stay inside the shield. Oh, I'll yay. create the protective barrier. Get back inside it as soon as you sense the slightest danger. Okay. Nice barrier. So. The first glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. Wait, did he just talk into her mind? That's very impressive, Algernon. Okay, so apparently Riverside, where I thought it was Fuller's power, I was wrong. It was the Shambler. What's How this? How many are there? Lots. Very dead. Find that symbol, Sarah. Yes. It should react to the light if you use your lamp. I'm trying to find it, dude. Chill, chill. Ugh, lots of little caverns and spots and places. Oh boy. He said on the floor, but that's not giving not giving me much direction. First glyph must have appeared somewhere on the floor. Yes, thank you, Algernon. You are very helpful. Does it only appear if I have the lantern out? Because if that's true, that's gonna suck. Alright, I've done most of the loop, but I haven't seen it yet. Ah! The glyph! I can't move it! Is it acting against me? The ritual is working. Don't worry, it's just until I ward it off. Oh, yay. Oh, no. The Wanderer is Where? back. The glyph is ready, sir. Run! He's quick. He's quick. Oh, you are so much slower than Pierce. Bugger off, man. Be gone. The second symbol has been revealed. You know what you have to do, Sarah. Yeah, but where is it? He's getting stronger and more aggressive. If he catches up with you, try blinding him. Oh, yay. That's what the land's for. Okie dokie. So this one's going to be harder to return from. Much harder. The second glyph must have appeared. Yes, dude. Sorry. Chill out, man. I'm already having enough problems. Okay. So it's probably downstairs, right? In that little alcove down there all right let's go this way because it was it's the long the uh, longer way to get there hopefully the shorter way back nope not there must be here somewhere. Look closely. I'm looking that is up. what I'm doing yes thank you there it is okay can I move this That didn't work. Why did that not work? Left mouse. Wasn't it middle mouse? Why does the death noise have to be so cataclysmic? Okay. First glyph again. I'll try one more time, and if I can't How get many it, are there? I'll leave it. For next time. Okay. Okay, yeah, that worked this time. Oh, uh, first glyph is done. I didn't didn't see that as being done. <laughs> okay, so we move this, blind the shamble, and run, right? And then come back. Must have appeared. Yes.
That's rather handy. I like that. Don't like the Shambler, but I like the ability to stop him. Shoot. You startled me, my friend. I have the impression the Shambler is trying to anticipate our actions. No. The Shambler, a dimensional... The symbol must be here somewhere. Look closely. Shush. That is what I'm doing. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, this has been part 19 of Call of Cthulhu. Like the video if you like it, dislike it if you didn't like it. Leave a message. Maybe subscribe. I'm going to be here with this guy for a while. Or, like all of the other times, I thought I'd be take a while. It'll probably end very shortly after the, the start of the next part. The second clip must have appeared. Let's press on. Shush. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.